My eyes shot open. The covers seemed to suffocate me as I struggled to get free. Finally, I was able to extricate myself from the tangled mess. I swung my legs over the side of the bed, trying to slow my breathing and steady my heart rate. I needed air. I stood on shaky legs, making my way through the darkened cabin towards the back deck. My t-shirt, damp with sweat, clung to my back. If I were alone, I would have torn the damn thing off. Sliding the door open and moving forward, my feet touched chilly planks. I gripped the railing, bending to press my forehead against it. The cool mountain air rushed over me, calming my overheated skin, and the sweet smell on the breeze seemed to ease my panicked breaths. Slowly, my heart rate began to return to normal. I straightened and tipped my face up to the sky. The stars were so bright here. I'd never seen anything like it. No ambient city lights to dull their shine. Mom, are you up there? I mouthed the words to the silent breeze as tears pricked the backs of my eyes. What I wanted more than anything was a promise that I would be reunited with her one day. In heaven, in the stars, anywhere, I could feel her presence. The pastor at my mom's memorial service had promised that she was in a better place. But how did he know for sure? I prayed to God and the universe for a sign constantly, anything that would let me know she was at peace that I would see her again. I never got a damn thing, and I was looking. I blew out a long breath and settled myself in one of the rocking chairs on the porch, the sounds of a bubbling creek nearby, crickets chirping, and the blades of the rocker hitting the boards of the deck were my only companions. It was kind of perfect. It was quiet, without the deafening silence of my nightmares. Sleep wouldn't find me anytime soon, though. No matter how hard I tried, rest always refused to come after one of those dreams. It was a nightly battle I won, only if I had exhausted my body the day before. I needed to be so tired that I fell into sleep so deep the nightmares couldn't find me. It was so very ironic. I used to hate working out with the passion of a thousand fiery suns, but now it was my salvation.